Hi guys, welcome to another educative session of user interface design. My name is Fimber and today we'll be talking about star ratings. I know you must have seen solutions whereby you download each of products and you're asked to review and um, while reviewing you're told to give a star. So this is exactly what it is and this is a perfect replica of what the star ratings is. Um, before we continue, do not forget to hit the subscribe button. And um, so we'll be doing something similar to this today as you can see one star, two stars. So this is it. Um, so for us to begin, we would have to import something, um, a star-like thing from one of the plugins that I have, uh, which is Iconify. Oh God, I love Iconify so much. And so I click on the star word, star, and um, I pick whichever star that I prefer to work with. I love Iconify. It has so many things, man. I would advise you to use it too. And there are also other powerful plugins that you can also use from time to time. So which color would I like to pick? Let me pick this color and I import um, the star shape. Yes. Okay. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay. That's it. And that's it. So I drag it to the center and um, perfect. So what I'm going to do next is I will duplicate the stars. Yes, duplicate it into five. Since most of the times so what they basically do is five star ratings, right? So we duplicate for one star, two star, three star, four star, five star. So what we're basically going to do is duplicate them and make it into a component. So, um, so duplicate one. Yes. So uh, you should now uh, I would duplicate right alt and um. The, the 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 okay so or you just simply copy and paste it so that's just one of the easiest way so the third star fourth star and the, the last star so if you can notice i made sure there's a minimum margin of 10 you know 10 space in between them so i hereby select everything and i make it a component Sorry, I auto lay out it first, then I make it a component. So auto lay auto laying it out makes it firm and in a place whereby it doesn't get scattered. So I create another variant. Yes, so after making a component, I create a variant for it also. So because we'll be working with several variants here, yes. I think about close to five variants extra. So that is the default and the second one uh what do we name it what do we name it um i think let's name it one star would that be fine mm, let's name it one star and so i'm trying to look at the distance between them in order to make sure the prototyping works out fine so let's rename this property Uh, one star so it's it's easier to actually um, to actually follow through whenever you're prototyping you know then I make another variant also let's name it two star because that's where the two star will be landing so we create another variant and we're gonna make it three star then the fourth star and the fifth star it goes on just like that you know just name your thing the way you want. It's not compulsory. You follow what I do, but just follow the steps and just you can be creative in whatever it is that you do. Okay. So um, we need to work on the colors. So we have everything we want to work on all the variants and the default. Yes. So we have everything we want to work on. And um, since this is one star, I want to pick a color similar to this in fact the exact color so i won't have to start looking for color so i copy the color right there and um i paste it yes so, so i select the star that i want to change the color from this white okay so i paste it and it changes to blue okay so you should take note that i double clicked on the star element itself so i double clicked okay to make sure the star element has been selected so I do for the two stars also. I do same for three stars. Same is going to be done for four stars and the fifth star too. So it keeps going and going and going and going and going. I love this. I love this. I love this work. Uh, particularly doing a star review. I really love it. Uh, Cause he, 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 it makes me exercise. Yeah, it's kind of an exercise, and uh, you know.
So finally, we have the fifth star. So I do, so I tweak all the colors. Okay, and the last, final. Yes, now you see what we have here. Okay, now this is where the prototyping comes in. Uh, it's a little bit of work, you know, but uh, it's something that can be done. Okay, so now I'm trying to select the star. Make sure it's the star you select, not the, 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 the element frame itself, not the container, the star itself. Yes, once you select the star, so it means whenever it is you click on the star itself, okay, it takes you on this particular first star, it takes you down to this next star. And now let's look at the interaction. I just want it to be on top, okay? And uh, once on top, it goes to the next one and no animation, just instant. Same thing happens to when you click on the second star, it takes you to two stars, okay? Now you can see that's why I actually named it that way. One star, two star, three star. Okay, so once you click on this third star, it takes you down to three star. Same thing happens when you click on four stars. It takes you down to four star. The fourth star, it takes you down to four stars. Okay, then when you click on five, the fifth star, it takes you down to the variant five star. Okay, so that is that for this first default state. Now we go to the second state, that's the second star, and the first star here, once you click on it, no interaction happens, okay? Because we just want to leave it that way. Okay, so this second one takes you down to, to two star. Then when you click on this, it takes you down to three star. When you click on the fourth one, it takes you down to fourth star. Then when you click on the last one, it takes you down to five stars. Now, it's it, it might be kind of tricky because you might be asking, why am I prototyping some, some up? And why are some not having any interactions? Okay, so uh, a little bit of explanation now. Now, this is already painted, right? It's already, the color is already changed. So now we take it back, okay? So it goes back to the previously clicked on star. So once you click on the second star, there's no interaction. And this has this third star has not been selected yet. So once you click on it, it takes you to the third star. Once you click on the fourth star, it takes you to four star itself. When you click on the fifth one, it takes you down to five star. Okay, so the third variant, sorry, the fourth variant, which is the three star, when you click on the first star, it takes you back, yes, to the one star variant okay when you click on the second star it takes you back to the two star variant when you click on this there's no interaction happening okay so we just want to leave it that way when you click on the fourth star then that hasn't been selected yet then it takes you down to four stars okay to the variant four stars you can see how it's working simultaneously and this same thing applies to the fifth star going to five star now we do the same action, okay? So you can see same thing applies to these ones also. Just look at it carefully, okay? Kindly take note, it says the style itself that we are selecting, not the container in which it is contained, in. no. The star itself, okay? Okay, so now everything goes back because it's the final one that has been selected already. So whatever it is that is making you select them back, then it takes you back to its previous state, okay? So this, there's no interaction in this. So this is basically how you prototype a star. So it will be nice to see how this works, okay? You can see all the interactions, just be careful so anyone doesn't miss. So we go to assets to drag the interaction okay let's find which is which okay so i think this is it yes okay this is for the second one and this is for the one we just created so we drag it here so this is basically how it shows and um this is what you see so now let's run the prototype let's see let's let's okay 
the CI goes, okay, bam. So this is what we want. Now let's see how it interacts, okay? So I click on one star, okay? You can see, I click on two star, it takes me to two star, okay? I click back on one star, it takes me back to one star. You can see how this works, right? Click three star, it takes me, then click two star, it takes me back to two star. So that's what the back and forth thing that I was trying to do, that I did, is all about, okay? So when you click on one, it takes you back to the one. and So that's just what the interaction is all about. So making a star rating, it's, 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 it's quite tricky, but it's beautiful to do. And it's quite easy if you, if you actually know what you're doing and you are creative about your work, okay? So that's just it. And do not forget to subscribe, uh, to hit the subscribe button, because uh, we would always love to serve you more beautiful educational content, okay? Do not forget to subscribe and just keep tap with our channel. Thank you. That's all we have for today.